want to talk about um, tribal issues, and yeah. you don't have a lot of time because you strongly feel that um, um, you know we, we should um, direct our energies on what you are going to do Absolutely. because we, we've talked about Absolutely. tribalism and all these and Absolutely. accuse each other of this and that. Yeah. So I will respect that. Um, let's quickly look at the, um, and you can combine these two um, very quickly. We only got seven minutes more. <laughs> we'll try. We'll for, be fine. for one hour, and I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Um, I think it's important for us that you address the issue of the media. Um, tell us what your manifesto says. Um, what is, for example, European distance on media law reform in relation to the Freedom of Information Bill, the IBA Act, and the ZNBC Amendment Act? What kind of media are we going to see under your presidency if the Zambians elect you? First and foremost, I want to backtrace that with um, a point I should have made. We will continue with the anti-corruption fight, but we'll make it professional, we'll make it non-selective. We'll harmonize the task force with the anti-corruption commission, fund them adequately, bring about professionalism, training, support, and basically allow these institutions to run the agenda with the support of the presidency, but without being vindictive without victimization. We've already seen what is going on now. And it scares the hell out of a lot of people's, you know, people's minds to return to the days when you were hunted down in your house. Zambians will not allow that. I am saying this because it works its way through media freedom, freedom of information. We will promote that. Mind you, Caristo, I was chairman of the Media Trust Fund before I took early retirement to work for the people of Zambia. So we want to promote media freedom, access to information. People are entitled to information. It's a basic human right. We are aware of threats going to the post. That's, that's unnecessary. ZNBC, yourselves, we want you to be a true public broadcaster where you are free. You don't cover Michael Sata. You don't cover Haka Inde because you are instructed. We know that. Please don't cut this off to the viewers when you edit this program. <laughs> because that's the question you've asked me. I like that. Absolutely. Because ZNBC is a public asset. Actually, it's a public liability. In a way. For now. Absolutely. That's what you think. Okay. We will make it a public asset ourselves because we will make it commercially viable, making it an, a true broadcaster. Look at BBC. We want to model ZNBC on BBC. Mm. No fear, no favor to Gordon Brown's government. They will raise issues as they see them. That's what we want ZNBC to be. Mm. We want to enact all the appropriate laws that enshrine, foster, su su sustain media freedom, mm. access to information. And, and are you 